Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of your favorite show, The Cool Peeps Top 10 Show. Today we are going to be talking about 10 normal things that feel illegal in Ghana. Even the most law-abiding citizens must have done one or two things in our list. Do stick and stay. At number 10, we have sitting down whilst your mother cleans the house. Hey, <laughs> how do you all just slap with a sprinkle of powder pepper in their palms? <laughs> sometimes it's very confusing considering the fact that they sometimes say, we are in their way but to be on the safer side just go and look for something to do because you cannot be resting it's an offense in their books and number nine we have going through airport security going through airport security can be a hassle especially in your mind you start thinking about whether or not you have some sort of contraband in your things what if someone put some drugs in your bag and now it looks like it's yours yes guys the internal panic is real at number eight, we have getting a tattoo or piercing. Mama, seriously, it's a tattoo. What? It's like you have a death wish. Having a tattoo or piercing in a Ghanaian home equals you have joined bad gang and you cannot convince our parents otherwise. It's definitely illegal in our parents' books. At number seven, we have leaving your office on time. This really feels like an offense, you guys. Should you leave? Can you even leave? Should you wait for like 30 minutes to pass before you get up? What do you do? If you've ever felt this way, we felt your pain. You're definitely not alone. And number six, we have telling your hairdresser you don't like your hair. A lot of ladies are on this table. We would rather go home and cry and remove the hair than to sit there and tell the hairstylist we don't like the hair. It's even worse when they get back in vocalists telling you how nice the hair is when you know deep down that this hair, it will not see the light of day. <laughs> it just feels so wrong to say anything to them. At number five, we have asking for a day off when you are actually sick. You can go 10 straight years without taking a sick day, but all of a sudden when you are on your deathbed, you are too nervous to call in. But it also feels illegal to show up at your office coughing and sneezing. Adding dishes to the sink when someone else is washing them is a number four. <laughs> if you haven't tried it, just attempt it when one of your siblings or friends is busily washing the dishes. The look alone they will give you is what will stop you from going any further. Walking out of a store without buying anything is at number three. Almost everyone is guilty of doing this, especially at the malls. If you're waiting for someone, spending time wandering through aisles of clothes or food items is always going to be a good option. But when you are leaving the shop empty-handed, you'll definitely feel like you've stolen something because of the way the shop attendants and the guards will look at you. Buying condoms is at number two. I have seen people attempt to buy condoms in a pharmacy and guys, it really wasn't a pleasant sight. You could tell that they wanted me gone before they requested it, but I was also waiting for them to buy what they wanted before I get what I was there for. After all, they came before me. <laughs> the situation is even worse if it's a lady buying them because of the judgy looks you sometimes get. But guys, go get your condoms with your heads held high because you have to protect yourselves. Last but definitely not the least, we have asking someone to return your money. After a while, asking people for your own money they borrowed starts to feel somewhat illegal. They gave themselves a time frame within which they were supposed to return the money. But every time they are called, they have one story or another and then it eventually starts to feel like you are the one worrying them and that's all we have for you today how many of these legal crimes have you actually done let us know in the comment section don't forget to like this video share it with friends and subscribe to our youtube channel see you tomorrow